it, for me, it wasn't. I wasn't even trying to get my name on everything in the beginning. Uh, but I think people just liked my story and my name. Kind of, you know, I, I stick out halfway because of who I am and where I come from. I came from nothing, and uh, so you know, it's, it's like I liked what it, what happened. And then I, I now it's about branding. You know, it always comes down to branding and a story behind things. And so, you know, it's a. I like it. It helps kids that didn't think they could do it either and you know helps people know that they can get to their dreams and you know, all you gotta do is make it happen it's all in your head you know what i mean what anybody can do anything they want they just gotta get off their ass you know what i mean i wasn't even the best snowboarder i'm not even i'm not the best i there's a lot of people that are better than me but i'm living my dreams because i did i i got off my ass and you know busted it out no excuses people have excuses that's the only thing that keeps them from getting to their dreams is their excuses they have for not getting there. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> so it's, you know, I like it. I like now what it did. It, putting my name on things helped me, you know, I don't know, get credibility to, so now that I'm helping other people, it's, it's, it's it ended up a good thing, for sure. I, yeah, I want my shit on, my name on other stuff, for sure. <laughs> it, you know. Any any kids coming up? You're talking about being uh, like being a role model. Do you see any kids coming up uh, that you kind of got your eye on? You think gonna yeah, for sure. Pretty? The dude uh, Johnny Paxson and uh, Jonah Owen, uh, two guys that are uh, um, they're in my video, and uh, they, you know they they don't like they're not partying their life away, living the dream. They're like they work hard. They're super modest, super chill. Don't do drugs. You know, the things that'll hinder what they're trying to achieve, you know what I mean? Um, I think that's, it's kind of important because these days, you know, it's like, I see a lot of videos with smoking and partying in their videos and it makes kids think that's cool. And it's, then and seriously, it gets, you know, I've seen, I've seen kids go down and ruin their whole life because they think partying is cool and then, you know, dip into drugs and just ruin themselves. <laughs> It's sad. <laughs> so yeah, there's, you know, I, I, I kind of pay attention and watch out to help the right dudes make it. And, no, I don't help them. They just do it themselves. You know what I mean? So I just, I just keep tabs uh, on the right hot new riders. You know what I mean? Johnny Pax is killing it. You'll see him soon. He's from here. So yeah, yeah, yeah. He's coming up big time. You got any advice for kids coming up? Uh. Yeah, just don't make excuses. You know what I mean? Like, if you like something, go after it, and uh, don't let your friends talk you out of it. You know what I mean? Some, some. If you're moving in a different direction than everybody else, you know, don't listen to the people that are trying to bring you back down to their level and all that stuff. Like, uh, I had to deal with a lot of shit talking when I when I was trying to make it pro and stuff. It was all kind of. Everybody's like, you're too old, and you're not gonna make it. All, you know, all that shit. Like. I'm, I did it just kind of just to stick people's foot in their mouth, really. And uh, so I don't know, like, there's a lot. I don't want to preach or anything, but, you know, weed never did that great for anybody. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and uh, I don't know, just be modest if you do make it. <laughs> and humble. What up, man? Chilling. Hey, Ben. Good. Good to see you. Thanks I for don't. coming. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Um, you talked a little about, uh, about the Finger on the Trigger movie. Uh, you always do music for that. You used to do uh, the music for that? Yeah, just the oh. intro part. Okay. Like, uh, yeah, that's who I collabed with. It's like an MFM Productions slash FODT Productions, hard to earn. Uh, and I did the intro collage. Cool. It's, it's good. I thought it was cool. It's like all old school break beats, two minutes. It's pretty cool. Did you make that mix on your part in the... No. Absolutely. No. Um, but I think it's cool that uh, I read an interview somewhere that you spent your first check on your Technics 12s. Yeah, yeah. First, yeah. First check I ever got was a turntable. Uh, uh, you have a rivalry with uh, Funkmaster Flux with the FMF and the MFM. You guys trying to nah, battle it out over but, the letters? Nah, but I'll crush him, dude. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> 
But uh, <laughs> no, seriously, on, on the music front, what's uh, what's fresh to you right now? Like, what are you listening to right now? Um, I don't know. I like like uh, Doom and Mad Lib, J Lib, that kind of stuff, for sure. Still on fire. I don't know, like just funky, you know, not not crazy old gangster hip hop shit. But well, I mean, I like it all really. I like R&B, old school R&B, and old soul grooves. Steve Wonder. Yeah. All right. Uh I'm about wraps it up. Uh, I'm not gonna get to talk. Yeah. Got any shout outs? Anybody you like to thank at all? Uh, yeah. I just I, I want I I'm, I just want to thank everybody for supporting me and like you know fans for sure. Because uh, some pros, you know, I see a lot of it. Like they start thinking they're all cool and shit. They don't want to talk to their fans. They they get all bothered by having to do signatures. I, I, like people, I, I hear it all the time. Like oh, you must hate this. I'm like shit. I love this shit because it's like that's the, that's the hardest thing I have to do. Like I'm, you know, I never catch me complaining. I have to sign autographs. That's like, or talk to my fans. I love everybody just for. I can't even believe they support me like they do, and uh, it's made my life wonderful. And I thank everybody. I'm super appreciative of every day of my life, for what's happened to me. And you have to be anyway. And I don't understand how some people are just like unhappy. We live in like fantasy world. You start traveling around, seeing how it is, and in other places, then you get real. This ain't even the real world over here. <laughs> like, we're like, so blessed, it's crazy. Awesome, you got any questions for me? I've been asking you all. <laughs> nah, it's all good. All right, cool, <laughs> well, hey, thanks, man. I really right appreciate on. it. For sure.